Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We'll be taking a quick overview of the P8 P67 Deluxe Motherboard by Asus. This is built for second generation Intel Core processors. It is a P67 chipset and has the socket LGA1155. If you look at the motherboard box itself, it is black, has the Asus green on it. It shows some of the features of the board and it talks about, gives you a little bit of an overview of the DigiVRM and TP, TPU. If you open the top flap, the top flap shows some more features and it actually has a clear plastic panel so you can see the motherboard inside the box. The back of the box shows some more features and specifications. So let's open it up. Of course the top of the box is where the motherboard is stored. And on the bottom of the board of the box we have the accessories. Let's take a look at the motherboard. The motherboard comes encased in an anti-static bag. If we take it out of the anti-static bag, we'll be able to see what the motherboard actually looks like. We have four heat sinks covering the PWM South Bridge. 1155 socket lifts up. Always pull from the bottom tab when you're taking off your covering and there's where your brushes are. You don't want to bend your brushes. If we look towards the top of the board here, we will see a fan fan connector for your heat sink, your CPU fan heat sink. And we also have four dim slots DDR3. Turning the board around, we can see a 24 pin connector, a connector for a case fan, and here we have a TPU switch. The TPU switch enables you to switch it to the enabled position, which would be to the right. It's defaulted to the left. And this would give you an, an overclock which is automatically tuned by ASUS's specifications for your processor. This button here is a memory OK button and basically what that does is it gives you tells you that your memory is uh, working correctly or not. This is a USB 3.0 header which can be used. This motherboard also comes with uh, an external USB 3.0 port which I'll show you with the accessories. SATA slots two, four, six, eight. There are four SATA 6 slots on this board. Two are native and two are via Marvel drivers. On the bottom here we have our case power connectors, a debug display, another fan connector next to another one in sequence, your external USBs for your case, a reset button, power button. Now down here, if you can see this switch, this is called the EPU switch. What this will do, it will modify the voltage when it's, when it's enabled to save you some power. One, two, three PCIe slots, two of them, this is an X16, the bottom one. X16 top, if you were to run S SLI, you're going to get 8X. Three of them, you'll get four. You have two PCI slots and two PCIe 1.0 slots. Going to the side of the board, we can take a look at the, the ports. Two USB ports here. Keyboard, most keyboards nowadays have, have two USB connectors. Here's a PS2 connector if you have a PS2 mouse or a keyboard still. Optical and RCA for audio. This has Bluetooth on the go. It is Bluetooth ready and that's what you see here. 
eSATA ports, more USB ports, dual gig LAN, and USB 3.0 ports. This is your 8-pin power connection for your CPU. And the back of the board does have a plate. The included accessories are six SATA cables, an SLI bridge, an I.O. plate, and a quick connector for your external case connections uh, for power, reset button, etc. speakers. Basically, if you have fairly large fingers like myself, it's kind of hard to get the, the plugs in, so you just use this, plug the plugs into that, pop that onto the motherboard, and you're set to go. As I stated earlier, this comes with a USB 3.0 box. This is for ex extra USB 3.0 connections on the external part of your case. You could put this in an external bay at the front of the case. It does connect to the motherboard. So if you are using some possible external hard drive enclosures, etc., that are USB 3.0, you'll have that extra connectivity. Instead of having to go to the back of the motherboard of your case, you could just go right to the front of the case. The Bluetooth manual, and of course the motherboard manual. And inside of that is our driver CD, DVD now. And that concludes our quick look at the Asus P8 P67 Deluxe motherboard. Thank you.